how do I uh, rotate around? How do I zoom in to just the face? So if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then right click and drag, you can spin the character around, okay? Also, Alt key held down and the left mouse button will let you pan around. So like you're just grabbing it and moving it around. And that's helpful if you do want to get in close to the face, you can just put the head in the middle, and then you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in. Too far. And then again, alt and right drag, we can spin him around. Okay. Alright, so that's just some navigation. Now let's talk about what happens when your mesh underneath. And this isn't just um, you know the body skin not showing. This can also happen if we did something like Put a jacket on him. So let's first turn off his uh, shirt and see if there's meshes, uh, part of the mesh missing underneath. So I'm going to go to the seam tab over on the left side, and by default it's too small, so I need to drag that line over so I can actually read what the separate parts of them are. So there's tank top. So if I click on tank top and then I click the little eyeball symbol next to it, we can see his stomach is missing, okay? And, you know, usually that's okay because you're keeping the shirt on him, but let's say that we were trying to adjust his abs and we can't see them. So one surefire way to fix that is to activate the edit mesh mode. So you want to make sure that you're on uh, the first tab over here under modify and also make sure that you've selected modify right here and that this uh, panel is actually open, then you can click edit mesh mode, okay? And there's a lot you can do with this edit mesh mode, but make sure that you've got the actual body selected. Okay, I still have the tank top selected over on the left, so I need to click CC standard up the top, which is the body mesh. And now we see the wireframe, okay? And what we can do now is just select by clicking and dragging, just drag a yellow square over those faces of the mesh that are missing. And it's okay if you go beyond it. It's okay if you go beyond it. You don't have to select those faces exactly. But we can see they're missing on the back side too. So I'm going to go ahead and select those as well. Oh, we might have to hold down shift. Let's try that. Hold down shift key and see if it adds to the selection. And yes, it does. So don't forget that. If, you're, if you need to get the back side as well, I'm holding the alt key down and right dragging to spin them around. And then I can hold the shift key down to add to the selection. Let's see if that actually worked. Okay. No, it does not add. So forget that. Sorry. This, this program is brand new and there's some... Things that are a lot different from it, from other programs. So we're going to have to kind of do this one at a time. So I'm just going to make a big selection like that. And then if we scroll down the bottom of the mesh modifier here, we can just click the show button. So as soon as we click show, it is now going to show the body mesh underneath there. So then I just want to continue doing this. I'm going to select the rest of those polygon faces of the mesh. I'm going to hit show, but then there's also a button right here that makes it a lot faster. You can just hit unhide all, and then it will just automatically show all the uh, faces that are hidden. Okay, so we've got another interesting thing here with this guy's jeans, right? There's holes in the jeans, and we don't want the, uh, well, let's go ahead and just turn off the jeans so we can see what I'm talking about here. Yeah, yeah, well, not atomically correct, thank goodness. All right, so because I hit unhide all, let me just back up so we can see that. So undo, and undo again, just keep undoing. I'm going to undo before that unhide all, because I'm going to show you that his, his legs are actually missing underneath the jeans. So undo again. Okay, so now, now we're back to before I did unhide all, and I know that because part of his uh, stomach is still missing. 
So now let's turn off the genes, and we can see that there's stuff missing. Now in this case, they did not hide the mesh underneath completely, but on some of your models you may have the legs missing also, and only the spot underneath the genes is being calculated. So let's make that happen. I'm going to turn the genes back on. Um, I'll leave the tank top off for now. And now I'm going to use the conform command. Okay? So you do conform. You can do this calculate collision. And that's basically going to make the clothing fit onto the mesh. So if you have some clothing that's uh, not fitting your model quite perfectly, you can select it over here in the scene view, and then you can hit Calculate Collision, and it'll kind of reform the clothing around it. OK, so I don't want to make this uh, demonstration too long, but just be aware that you need to go into Edit Mesh Mode to make the hidden parts of your mesh come back. So I'm not going to do that for this guy's midsection, because obvious reasons. All right, so I'm just going to go back and hit Unhide All. So, edit mesh mode on the CC standard. So again, you got to select the mesh at the top for the character. Go to edit mesh mode. You see our wireframe. And then I can just go to unhide all. And he'll get his abs back. There we go. Okay. Alright, I'm going to stop the recording right now, but... And then, of course, there's a lot more questions you're probably going to have about this program. Just ask me, and I'll come around to help you. All right, so don't forget you need to complete <clears throat> your exercise Scantron um, by tomorrow, because we're going to have a quiz over it on Friday. And also don't forget that this character project is a long, overarching project that you're going to spend a lot of time in. That's why it's not due for a long time. All right, have fun creating.